No show as a tool has basically enabled us to objectively look at every single rider and what they're doing in their position. So we've been able to mix it up with obviously now having five guys and you know, Ash is about six, you've suddenly got a lot of opportunity and a ways to basically run a team pursuit. So now we can actually pull apart exactly what each rider is doing, how they're doing it, uh, and tie that in with good video data that you can analyze every single pedal stroke, even down to the core of the pedal stroke, you know what's going on uh, and how you can improve that and whether one person suits a different turn strategy, uh, whether someone should do longer turns, shorter turns, needs to focus on their line, focus on their head position. Uh, it's just a tool that enables us to actually just pull apart what's happening in a team pursuit. Before that, it was literally looking at a Garmin file and trying to have an educated guess of what might be happening. Uh, whereas now you're actually measuring those variables are important with air speed, with tire lows, zone of mass velocity, all the stuff that Notion gives you, you can now use to have a good understanding of what's happening. Dan, Dan does a few, a, few, a few tests with the no-show on the track and then goes right to Fountain what's training's over for today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can find more bots on air tests than you can in two seasons of training. Like, what, should I, what am I going to do today? Am I going to do an air test or am I going to go and do four hours in the rain? See you later, boys. <laughs> Rest day. <laughs> that is how you win World Cups. <laughs>